What I really hope, and I felt it listening to those two incredible leaders in our company is, we've got a real, we got a real fucking shot. Uh, good morning vlog. Um, hey Iris. Hey. I'll go this way because I don't know if you're late. Um, vlog, I've had an epiphany. I want to share it with you. I've been thinking a lot about something which is the way I think about business and uh, this is going to help a lot of you which excites me and I miss you guys. It's been a whole lot of like hodgepodge recalls and all that obviously with the holidays and everything so it's good to be back. Um, There's two ways to sell a product. There's branding and marketing and there's sales. And and all of you jump into one or two buckets, right? Like you really understand the long marathon of building a brand. It's a lot about influencers, it's awareness, it's content. And then a lot of you are really great math kids and it's like Amazon affiliates and and Google and and quant-based math like CAC, LTV, CAC, customer acquisition costs, LTV, lifetime value, math kids art kids, uh, anthropology kids, uh, quant kids. And, and that's how I think about business. And then I realized, holy shit, uh, that is what is going on with me in content. Um, a lot of people are producing content for a short term ROI, right? They do a vlog because they want to sell um, something, whether it's uh, merchandise or, or uh, uh, e-books or things of that nature. And Everybody wants to sell and I want to sell my legacy. I want, I, want a, I want reputation. I want, you know, a lot of the dirty stuff I do, meeting with you one-on-one, DMing you, it's, it's not ROI positive. I get a lot of accolades like Gary replied, Gary cares, Gary called me, Gary gave me a chance, Gary met with me. And I realized my behavior there is because my North Star is legacy reputation. What do you say behind my back? A lot of you uh, first get a hold of me and you're like, I don't know about this guy and I win in the long term uh, over and over and over again because intent and the truth always win and my intent and my truth is I'm going for legacy. Like the money's gonna come along like, you know, there's a big interesting thing about me. I made my, you know, family a lot of money. In, in, you know, I always knew how to make money. VaynerMedia was a foregone conclusion. This is a $150, $175 million holding company now with PureWow and VaynerMedia, VaynerX. Uh, Vayner Sports is a foregone conclusion. That company will make money. It's, it's gonna do that by legacy. Like, we're gonna take care of our kids better, which is gonna cost us money in the short term. I'm holding my breath. I'm not worried about money in the short term. And so, I am acting in my content in the intent of legacy and that is how I'm filtering things and that's how I'm looking at what you're doing. Are you looking for long-term legacy and brand which then will bring you dollars or are you looking for dollars uh, in the short term? Do you love the process of building that brand or do you hate it and you're just working for the dollar? And it's just this very obvious thing now and I never put it really deeply into the content part of what I'm doing and so because content a lot of times has always been about branding but I've realized as I've analyzed a lot of you is your content is actually sales content. Like you don't really care about what you're putting out. You don't really care. It's a, it's being done for something in return in a short term and uh, I think it's a huge fucking mistake. And so when I say close your eyes until you're 29 like I did the other day or 39 or 49 or when I say you're 44, you have time, it's because I believe it. It's, I, I believe that you're 44 years old. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> you are not happy with your job or things of that nature and I just genuinely, you know, it's so crazy. Like I'm looking at this like I wrote this this came out in 2009, I think, right? And I wrote it in 2008. So I wrote it 10 years ago. It's a small little fucking book and obviously I'm writing the follow up now. But it's the punchline, man. Like if you do the right thing over what I think is a long term to a lot of you, five, six years, you will win. You will win and so live your life in a way, put yourself in a position where you don't need money. Meaning you don't need stuff, right? Or even if you have debt or it sucks right now, put yourself into a cocoon and say it doesn't matter. It's gonna suck for another 36 months and then it's gonna get better. 
these short term moves are just, everybody's just like trying to close on the first move and it never works, not in the long term. Negativity and, and tactics win in the short term. Uh, positivity and merit and the stake win in the long term. And uh, there's confusion in the system. And I will systematically, for the rest of my life, try to unwind it and get people unfucking confused. Cool. I need to hear that too, for my own stuff. It's true, right? Yeah, it's so true. Like. Even like for my like content that I'm creating like. Well, let, hold on, hold on. Like this sure. is what the vlog's about. Okay. Like great, so we're still rolling. Like, What's up? <laughs> go ahead, Iris. What are you? What are you saying? Um, so Why like, were you just saying that? There you go. Yeah. Um, well, thank you. I have Not that I know what to do with this like, shit. YouTube stuff. Yeah. That I make personally. I'm aware. And uh, just like thinking about like even like the titles and for example on my channel, just creating things that are really true to you. That's. Instead it makes of you feel better too. Like right, so you're better. saying I'm gonna title something. Like and if, yesterday, for example, please. I made a video for my own channel. Yes. And it didn't feel right because like. Because you felt like you were doing it to grow your channel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I I changed it. Yeah. Right there, and, and I just made something that just felt right, and I just felt so much better. And you just like I realized just being with you is about creating content that is true to you that you want to share with the world. Right, so you see me always pushing down on these characters yeah. when they're trying, like D-Rock especially is bad at this. He's always trying to do things to like win YouTube because he wants to win YouTube. You know, and I'm always like, fuck you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, D-Rock. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me just get it. Now look, now hold on. Fuck, how do you guys do this? Okay, good. Hold on, don't worry, Iris, I got it, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Fuck you, D-Rock. Bobby Batten, you like that, huh? Is that your favorite? Did you also learn that like, you know, like when you do the true thing and the right thing, like that content will always do better, not like the hack or the thing, like, D-Rock always wants to do like the hack for YouTube, right? Seth, you agree, like D-Rock is weird with YouTube. Yeah, D-Rock, why are you always trying to hack YouTube? Do you believe that? Yeah. Alex, do you believe that? No. <laughs> 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 I love it. Vlog, this is the most important part where Tyler and I make sure everything happens that needs to happen. Gary, what's up? What's up, man? How are you? How's it going? Such a pleasure. Come on in. This gives me energy. This gives me the energy that I need. I think they all I think they all know it's true. Going to a meeting. Are we gonna be really late? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, but anyway, you can fly real quick. Like, <laughs> can you hit that button? I know that, I know there's other people in the room here now and it's weird to show them that feature, but. <laughs> Ugh, I hate being late more than anything. Vlog, what's up? I'm back of the car, I've been running late all day, heading out to LA today on business and have a company-wide all-hands-on meeting coming up to uh, go through some of the uh, nuances of the business and so, stressed out a little bit, got a new pod sessions. If you're not listening to the podcast, you're making a huge mistake and this new concept, pod sessions, kind of like taking off the jam sessions that me and my homies did in the early days of kind of like Web 2.0, uh, grabbing three people from random different backgrounds, putting them together, putting them on the podcast and shooting the shit. So I'm excited about doing that first one today. Uh, introduce you to three new people. And uh, just got done with a meeting with a client sitting in this traffic with Av. Av, what's the ETA now? Saying 21 minutes now. Fuck! That's bad. That was 18 minutes five minutes ago. So something bad happened. Ugh. Running late. 
two meetings is literally the worst feeling I have. Can this room kind of do me a favor and just spread out and get everybody? Because I'm coming. Good afternoon, VaynerMedia. Uh, thank you so much. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. Um, first and foremost, I want to wish everybody a, a healthy and happy 2018. I hope everybody enjoyed their time off. It seems like a million years ago, I'm sure, for all of you. I see the hustle in every avenue. Uh, the things that we are focused on as an organization are clearly resonating with the marketplace. Um, I, I think a lot of what the second bullet's about, the way I think about our continued uh, obsession of long form video or, or video, not even necessarily long form, for mobile devices or where people are paying attention to, our enormous momentum around voice and what is going on in an Alexa, Google Home environment. I, I think what I'm most proud of is Vayner Media obviously is pigeonholed still with many people as a social media shop because any client service company in the world in any sector is pigeonholed often into the services they provide early on. There's just a lot of good going on and as I look at the macro uh, issues and opportunities at hand for the biggest brands in the world, uh, I think we will be on the right side of history and I'd love to hear a massive clap for two of the most essential parts of our company. I'm so excited to be here and I think Justine and I both want to share a little bit about why we joined the organization and kind of what, what, we're, what we're up to. So Justine, you're, you're going to kick it off. Uh, so I'll just call out from the get-go, I am Australian. <laughs> um, but I joined uh, six months ago and it has been a wild ride and I've loved every minute of it. It very much came across to me that Van is at this incredible inflection point. For all of the success that you've had in the last eight years, there's like this bubbling energy of what's to come next. And we're getting asked to uh, go and speak to clients about being their AOR. And that's uh, a pretty epic feat for a company, not only of this size, but also this young in its, um, in its genesis. And I think that opportunity is something that I'm really excited about because I know that strategy can help. So uh, thank you all for the warm welcome. I'm looking forward to coming to you. So I'm one of the proud members of the inaugural group, the tw class of 2018. Can we give it up to the, we've got like 10 of us out there. Yeah. And I know more about them than I do some of my family members. <laughs> Ice breakers? Uh, but uh, hopefully some of that is kept in confidence. Uh, but I, I'm so fired up to be here and I love the program that the People Experience team have delivered um, so far. And I have to say, I came into this organization with really high expectations. And if the past 10 days are anything like what the experience is gonna be going forward, having not only spent a little time here, but being out in CES where we were interacting with some of the top CMOs in the, in the world, um, we are so positioned at the right time for what the industry needs. And it's our provocative point of view combined with the energy of our people that is going to just nail it. Just to echo what everybody's saying in terms of open door, I'm going to try to ladder it up just one more notch. I'm going to put candy in my office. Just down the road from Justine and uh, uh, in between Steve and Justine. But please, um, so many of you have reached out and it means the world to me. I hope you guys are ready. Buckle up for 2018. <laughs> I'm going to have a few more words. Yeah, cool. The candy thing got, made me feel like I want to one-up it, so going, <laughs> going forward, uh, I have free cash <laughs> in my office, so hopefully you guys will take me up on the open door policy. <laughs>
a lot. <laughs> um, look, I, you know, th- this is super interesting because for me, so much of what has brought me happiness in my life, personally and professionally, has been predicated on whether it's intuition or pattern recognition. It's having a good sense of what's about to happen and then building towards it. Uh, you know, what I want, I, what I really hope, and I felt it listening to those in two incredible leaders in our company is we've got a real, we got a real fucking shot. Yeah, that's a good way to end. I love you guys. Have a good day. Hit me up. Hey blog, just did a great, uh, great talk to the whole company. I love them very much. Bobby Glenn in the house. Hussein, that was a big shout out for you. I know, thanks. Uh, Britt. Uh, headed to LA, good day. We got that rant earlier today. You'll take some pieces from this. You'll use somebody to help you edit it properly. I'll see you later, vlog.